Um, I am just tuning in very briefly to do a little product review. I had a few people ask about what watercolor palette I've been using for my paintings um, for my live videos. And um, I've been wanting to do a little review, plus I haven't been able to uh, tune in much on Facebook with painting progress because I'm working on a commission that is a secret for somebody, so I can't show anything as of now. Hi, Victoria! I know, right? Like, from video to video. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. Hello, Cheyenne. Um, I am so excited that all of you guys are tuning in. So, you're definitely going to want to hear about this product review if you have any interest in watercolor whatsoever. Um, I actually got this palette from my good friend Janice. She's such a sweetheart. She gave this to me and I am super thankful because before using this, I was using a very um, low quality, I would hate to admit it, but a pretty low quality uh, watercolor palette. And um, she gave me this one and it's a mess. The tray is a mess right now um, from my mixing. But uh, just take a look at these colors so you can have an idea. So this is the um, little tester that I did. These watercolors are bomb. I love them. Uh, I usually end up with kind of chalky looking watercolor that isn't that saturated. And um, even when I do the more expensive tube brands, I'm usually not happy with the way that the pigment spreads. Um, but with this one, I absolutely love um, the way that the pigment blooms and it doesn't leave any weird little particles. It's real smooth. It's super vibrant. I mean, look at all of those like bright yellows and greens and I have pretty good, I have like a little um, fancy little lamp so it makes them stand out. But this is like, this is pretty accurate to what they really look like. This thing, I would think, would be like, I don't know, 40 bucks or something, but it's not. It is so cheap. Um, you can actually find this palette uh, on Amazon, and you can get it shipped here for those that are in Alaska. Um, it's like just a little over $20. It's super, super affordable, um, so reasonable. This is some a palette that you can get for your kids. So many colors, Shayla says. I know, that's why I love it. The more colors, the less I have to mix my own colors. Um, and by the way, for those of you that are watching, I'm gonna be revealing the last painting that I did. I had a time lapse of it, but I didn't really show anything close up. So if you stay uh, tuned in at the end, I'm gonna show that piece uh, to you guys. So yes, this is a palette that you could get for your kids and it, they're gonna love it. But also, um, you know, I'm a professional artist. It's what I do for a living and I absolutely love it. I know there are other artists that have told me that they use it that um, are, uh, you know, watercolor whizzes. That's what they do. They're incredible at it. So if they're using this palette, then I'm like, okay, I think I got a good palette then. <laughs> so um, it is called Pretty Excellent. It, well, that's what it says on the front at least. Um, you really can't miss it on the on the Amazon picture. It looks just like this with the bright blue case. Um, again, this is the little sample sheet. Amazing, amazing color. So I'm going to put the link in the comments for you guys. I'm not getting anything out of this. I don't have any kind of like system where I'm getting money from you guys buying it. I'm literally just telling you this because I know that a lot of people like watercolor and want a cheap palette that has lots of saturated vibrant colors and this is the one that you want to use for sure. Um, I am super thankful that this was gifted to me. I am definitely going to be buying more. I will never buy any of the old palettes that I used to use. I'm serious. So as some of you may know that have been following my art page, Lindsay Rogers Creations, um, I am starting to make some original pieces while I can. I'm working on commissions and in between I'm making some original paintings and I, I didn't get to make as many as I thought I would this week. You know, plans change, things get busy, and then sometimes you find yourself in the evening not wanting to do what you know you need to do. 
that's been me like the past four days. So I apologize, but I do have this one that I did a time lapse video of the other day, but I didn't show you guys a very good close up. So all the comments are covering it right now for me, but hopefully this is a good view for you guys. Um, this is a part of my series. I, I can take this one off the wall that's next to me for a moment. Some of you might remember this. This was my hourglass painting. Um, I gifted this to Denver because he loved it so much. Um, I wanted him to be able to have it. But anyways, I've been kind of like into this whole theme of like glass and reflection and then things being within the glass and how that the glass would affect that. And so I have a couple pieces like that that I've made already. So this would be the third one. This is the light bulb um, with sunflowers in it because sunflowers are amazing. I love them. They are my favorite. Our whole house is covered in with sunflower decor. We have a sunflower shower curtain, everything sunflowers. Shayla, thank you. I know you like sunflowers too. I think those are your favorite. Um, go ahead and comment if you agree that sunflowers are amazing. I love them. They, uh, they are so com just complex and beautiful. I love painting them. Even when they're dying, I think they're beautiful. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give you guys a close up because the detail in the middle of the sunflower is a bit hard to see. Hopefully the lighting is okay for you to tell. So yeah, it's pretty uh, detailed right there in the center with that main sunflower. But again, the main reason I'm showing this to you right now is because I used this palette for this painting. And look at that yellow, like glow, neon glow from the sunflower in that light bulb. Like that is not exaggerated by the lighting. I haven't done any editing to this. This is live. Um, that is how bright and saturated this palette is. I absolutely love it. It has blown my mind and I will be using it for all of my future paintings um, as far as I know. So yes, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is an eight by 10. I haven't matted it yet. I will be doing that um, fairly soon. I also will be getting a slick little scan of this beauty so that I can um, so that I can make prints because I have a shop now, Lindsay Rogers Creations. You go to that page on Facebook. If you haven't liked it or if you're not following it, I have a Facebook store. So um, hopefully within the near future, I will have prints of this up there, matted prints. So it's super easy for you to just buy a frame and hang it up. And um, I've really been loving the Facebook store. I've had quite a few of you awesome people supporting me. I've been sending out orders. It's been amazing. So um, I have some older prints left from my last series. So if you want any of those, um, feel free to check out the store on my Lindsay Rogers Creations page. For those of you that are tuning in now um, and didn't see the palette, uh, info in the beginning. It's a pretty excellent palette. It's uh, not your super high-end watercolor. It's, you know, labeled to be for pretty much anything, even beginners. But um, it's on Amazon for like a little over $20, which is right in my price range. <laughs> I don't like to spend much more than that because I can't. Um, and you get these beautiful, beautiful colors, uh, really nice pigmentation and the watercolor flows and blooms so perfectly. Um, no odd, at least for me, from what I can tell from experience, uh, no weird weirdness with the, um, pigment and yeah, I mean, no complaints here. So I will put the link for that in comments. Um, I think that's how... I'll do it. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I haven't um, done a live in a little while and I enjoy doing that and connecting with you guys. And I know I got a lot of art friends on Facebook, people that love to paint and have been wanting to explore painting. Um, even if you're not a professional and you just wanna have fun and experiment, get this palette. I highly recommend it. It is um, it's awesome. So yeah, this painting, um, 
it is for sale. I will be posting it on my store, uh, Facebook store. So I'm not going to be uh, revealing any prices or anything like that yet. I still need to get it matted and get it scanned. But once I get it all documented well and uh, so that I can get some really uh, high quality prints for you guys, um, I will post this on my Facebook store under Lindsay Rogers Creations. So um, I'm not sure how I will announce the timing of that because I obviously it'll be first come first serve so I want to make sure that uh, it's as fair as possible um, if you are wanting it I uh, I I won't be accepting any offers right now I just want to encourage people to check out my shop and my Facebook store so this will kind of be a little motivator for you guys to check it out and um, I will announce once it's posted so that any of you that are interested can snag it up and if you didn't get the original and you want to print um, I will be making some schnazzy prints of this so you will love the prints um, I go through an awesome company that Grace Wolf recommended to me thank you they are great and I am so excited to get prints of this sunflower because I want one in my home actually to go along with all my other sunflower decor so thank you for all that tuned in once again amazing uh, amazing palette highly recommend it it's called pretty excellent can't miss it on Amazon it's this like kind of like bright tealish color and you get incredible results with this palette. It's good for beginners or people that have been painting a lot. Uh, it's great quality. So yeah, thank you for listening. I hope this helped somebody. Um, I know some people have been interested in what palette I've been using. So uh, I will post a link so you guys can find it easily. I hope everybody has a great night. And stay tuned for the posting of the sale for this original watercolor that I just finished. Bye. Good night.